The next step is to start making our baddies or our obstacles. Now we're gonna make them as separate sprites. We're not gonna build them into the backdrop because we want them to move and we want them to interact separately with the Explorer. So to add a new sprite, I need to click on the cat down here and go to paint because I'm gonna create my own sprite. Now my explorer, on my plan, he has to dodge balls of fire that kind of uh, move around the maze. So I need to draw some of that. So I'm going to use my paintbrush and I'm going to select a uh, color, red. And I'm going to start to draw some fire. Now fire is obviously constantly moving, so this fire is going to look a little bit like this so I'm going to fill that one in and inside that one we'll have a little bit of orange color here we go uh, so I'm going to choose my paintbrush again and just go inside now you can obviously draw uh, as complicated or as simple um, baddies as you like that's absolutely fine um, <clears throat> I say baddies it could just be obstacles it's totally up to you and then I'm going to go with a yellow right in the middle here to make it look like fire. Okay, there we go. Now, to make it look like the fire is going to move, obviously you can see it's massive on my maze. Don't worry about that just now. I'm going to call this um, <coughs> Flame 1. But also I need to name my sprite, don't I? So I'm going to call my sprite Fire. There we go. Right, so flame one, I need to duplicate this, so I'm gonna right click it and duplicate the costume to make flame two. And I'm just gonna add a few bits here and there of yellow and maybe some outside as well. Um, and I'm gonna duplicate the first one again, but this time add a few bits of orange. So go back to my orange color and just add a few bits here and there and I'm going to duplicate it a third time and add some red flames okay <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of the first one and just concentrate on the ones that I've created number two three and four and I'm just going to change the overall shape oh let me just fill in that fire there with a bit more of a ready deep red color um, i'm going to change the shape slightly using my paintbrush um, and the eraser just to give the fire like it's uh, a little bit of shape oh i didn't need to do that so let's undo that do -do -do. i ended i erased a little bit too much um, you don't want to click it, you just want to kind of uh, erase some of it. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next one down and do the same thing there. Use my brush to just maybe add a few more sort of tongues of fire sticking out here and there. Change the shape a little bit. Um, and on the third one too and you can do this with all the colors um, just to give it a little bit of uh, difference so you know you can go back to the orange as well um, if you want the exact same orange use the dropper and you can go into the orange and sort of change some of the, the shape there but it gives this kind of living feel to the fire it's always constantly constantly moving um, like actual real fire is. There we go. I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow to this one. Do, do, do. And maybe to this one too. Great. 
Great. So I've got three totally different pictures that are all in the same place. That's really important. And the same kind of size. That way, when I animate it, it'll look like the fire is burning, but it won't be traveling around my screen anywhere. That is a problem sometimes when you have sprites. If you have a change of costume, you need to make sure that it is in the center of this palette here. Otherwise, if you're changing direction or if you're making your sprite move, sometimes the sprite can jump to a different part of the screen just because all the costumes aren't centered. Okay, great. So now I've got my design. I need to make sure it's the right size. So I'll make sure that I'm clicked on my obstacle there and I'm going to go to the size bit and I'm going to shrink it down. Let's have a look at 30% just like it was with the uh, my main Explorer sprite. It's maybe still a bit too big. Let's see what it looks like on 20. Yeah, 20 looks better. Okay, 20 looks good. 